You were listening to a private conversation. Why so private? Zarf is so hot in that I don't shower every day kind of way. Josh must have been supremely awesome to score him for Babe's little campaign. How drunk was everybody? It's not a little campaign. When Babe wants something, she gets it. No offense. Fusion's great, but Zarf? Zarf. I mean, what else did you guys do? Shut it, Colby. Guess we caught him on a good day. Night. You caught him night. Way into the AM, right? Oh, what I could do with Zarf in a hotel room. Mm. Or Josh. <laughs> or both. Something your brother doesn't want to hear. Then I'll let Babe tell you about it. Get out, Colby. Time to go. Say something, JR. Whatever you're thinking, whatever, just get it out. Told me all about your trip to Philly. But you never mentioned that Josh went with you. Why didn't you tell me the truth about Josh? If I would have gotten a hold of you on the phone when I called, I would have told you but everything. But you didn't. Get a hold of me. When I got home and I found out you were in the hospital, I didn't, you didn't want... You want me upset? Not that there was any real reason for you to be upset in the first place. So you and Josh spent a couple hours with Zarf, right? A couple of ridiculous shots sold hours, yes. Hmm. Am I allowed to ask how you and Josh spent the rest of your night? After Zarf left, it was actually pretty boring. We ordered some food because I was hungry, and I fell asleep on the couch. One too many of those gelatin shots, I guess. Mm. Sounds pretty standard. I did have some awesome banana pancakes. <laughs> With peanut butter? You know it. All over. I don't know if it's because I was, but they were so tasty. Did the uh, service attendant operator make fun of you? Um, you didn't order them, did you? Why does it even matter? Why do I feel like I'm being grilled? I'm not sure. Did you do something wrong? I didn't do anything. I told you everything. But you would never have told me about Josh if Colby hadn't opened her mouth. Why are you acting like I'm hiding something? Are you accusing me of hiding something? Yes. Yes, I guess I am. So what am I guilty of now? Josh is in love with you, right? And I've told you a gazillion times that doesn't matter to me. And I told you not to hire him, but you did anyway. It's called being a good friend. And so now you and your friend go on these overnight business trips where you get so drunk you have to jump in the shower to sober up. You know, you give me all the 411, but you leave out the little detail that you went with your partner. What am I supposed to think? I can't tell you what to think, JR. I've already tried that and it didn't work. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Nothing, never Was it mind. Is more secret something you're trying to hide from? No. Out with it, babe. I vowed in that garden to love you for the rest of my life, but it didn't stop you. Stop me from what? You know, I'm nothing. Never mind, stupid. Stop me from trying to kill you? <laughs> well, here we are. Back to this, back to that night. You sit here and you 
you talk to me about love and trust and honesty, I can't stop thinking about it. Will it be like this forever? on the marketing for the Zarf song. Excuse me, I have to find a bucket. So the, um, the song plays as we roll in this product segment. And it goes right into the voiceover. Yeah, and then, and then it goes back to the beginning. Brilliant. I think we go for it. Zarf. Oh, yeah, yeah, um... Yeah, what about the radio campaign? I, um, <clears throat> have the copy. There. Yeah, it's right um, here, I got it. What do you think? A little too... Perking? I was thinking it wasn't edgy enough. Mm. Did you see the photos for the... Josh, uh, can you... Can you please stop doing that? Because if you keep moving stuff around, I'm never going to be able to find anything. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Okay. I'm going to go take a break outside. Need anything? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> There's something you need to hear from me. Look, if you're gonna go off about my mom again, I'm not in the mood. I'm tired of hearing about Zach and Dixie's big affair. Do I like it? No. But I have to suck it up right now. My mom's a big girl, and you do too. It's time for you to get a Just grip. listen! Your mother spent years tracking Madden all over the planet. She couldn't find him. When she did catch up in the Pine Valley, she did everything she possibly could to find out where Kate was, who had adopted her. She threatened, she manipulated, she broke a couple laws. None of it did any good. Where are you going with this, Dad? Zach Slater has been tied to things that your mother would never dream oh, of. Damn it, what is it? They did it. Your mother and Zach Slater murdered Ray Matt. You're kidding me, right? It gets worse. It's not possible. I'm the witness for the prosecution. 